Now you as an entrepreneur, as your business grows, expands, and you make more money, does that make you feel more charitable? Does that Absolutely. make you want to give to charities? Absolutely. I mean, like I said, I'm running for governor now, yeah. not for me. Yeah. And, and, and I don't know, I haven't heard that said much, but it seems like it's kind of a cliche. But it's true. In my case, there's no advantage yeah. really for me do to do Do you think it. generally good people who make money want to be ch generous and charitable? And my point is, as, <clears throat> as the free market allows people to expand financially, there's an invisible arm that takes care of the needs of people that need charity. That's my point. What do you feel about that? Absolutely. And that's one of the things I think that our government overlooks, you know. And I remember even a, a teacher in high school made that point. Well, what if, what if Bill gets injured at work and he can't provide for his family anymore, you know? Well, look, there's people in America, there's this invisible arm, like you said. There's organizations, there's churches and others that can help out, okay. you know. And to the extent that we're not burdened with such a heavy tax system, you know, then we're in a position to then help people more. And there are people I've hired. I've hired over the years, I counted recently, 69 people over the last um, 13 years mm. from Alpine and wow. employed them. And um, wow. it wasn't because I couldn't find better workers in other places, but they were people that I knew, people in my neighborhood, family members, you know what I mean? And uh, I think, and, if, and I know quite a few entrepreneurs and everybody feels pretty much the same way I do, which wow. is we're grateful to live in this country and we wanna do what we can to help out. Well, yeah. it sounds like government is doing reverse of what you would like to do. And in a way it's creating the problem that it's taxing us to solve. And if we were to do it like you were saying, cut taxes and uh, promote uh, prosperity with free enterprise that the invisible arm would take care of the people that the government is trying to take care of with, with taxes. Yeah, I'm so glad. It's so refreshing to talk to you, actually, because I can see that you get it. And uh, a lot of people don't, you know, in this day and age. Yeah. In fact, what I'm talking about probably sounds foreign to some people, and I think that's kind of sad. Well, it's just like starting a business. I think people, once they see and hear your story, they yeah. go, wow, I had an idea. Yeah. I didn't do anything about it. I'm going to start producing wealth. But if they become afraid of the taxing right. that they're not going to make any money from it. They're not going to prosper from it. It's just going to be like like you. I was a businessman. It's just going to be promoting bigger government, which is creating a bigger problem. Exactly. It's like gas on the flames. Let's, you know, the government right. is saying, let's put gasoline on the flames to put out the fire. Or yeah. muzzling the ox. Yeah. So, and the, and the, the funny thing is, a small step by the government to back off and have faith in the American people you know, cut taxes. I mean, the tax cuts that George Bush implemented in 2002, was it? Or three, whenever it was. Mm -hmm. Small amount, the Democrats kept saying, it's enough to, for, so the average person can buy a muffler. That's what they said, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, what effect did that have? They cut taxes, but the, yet the government made more money in tax revenue because it spurred this huge economic boom. You know what I mean? And if we did that, even at the state level, um, we could make Utah um, I mean, Utah could realize incredible gains. Oh, wow, and just as, a, as the state. Yeah, yeah, okay. we really could. I mean, obviously Great. the burden that the federal government places on us is huge. Yeah. But even at the state level, we can do things that would excite a lot of people. And it would be contagious. People would look at Utah and say, man, their economy is thriving. They're number one in economy. They're number one in education. How are they right. teaching these kids? And they're doing it for less money. People always say, well, Utah stinks because we're paying less money per student to educate them than every other state, you know. Well, we're not actually, I think we're 49th, but I don't look at that as a bad thing. I wear that as a badge of honor. I mean, if I'm in business, right, and I have a number of other competitors, and I'm paying less than everyone else for each CD that's replicated, right? I don't look at that and go, well, that really stinks. We need to, we need to pay more per CD, right? No, I look at the results, yeah. first of all. I look at how, what is the quality of the discs that are, we're getting, you know? Mm -hmm. And if it's sufficient, then I'm happy, you know? Yeah. 